everyone and welcome to colorful pages i hope you all are doing very well and today i am here with a very innovative tutorial now this one is an experimental tutorial what i have experiment i have experimented the jaipuri style of marble painting on my suit now this is a white color beautiful silk suit in which i have experimented the lovely elegant jaipuri marble painting all the material which i have used in the painting itself has been very nicely explained in the tutorial so without wasting any time let's get started so let me now first introduce to you all the material which i will use for making this beautiful suit now this first thing which you are seeing in front of you is the design of the suit itself now this design i have sketched on a paper this paper is known as gateway so this is a kind of transparent sheet which you can see generally what i do i fold it half like this and you must be seeing my pencil marks so like this i sketch on one side then using a black marker i draw it then i fold it and the opposite side because everything is visible so i redraw it once i open it it looks something like this and the entire design i have sketched uh, myself it is not a copied design now you can see that this is the main element of the design these few lines here and this beautiful uh, shape leaf shape the same shape i have sketched again on another tracing paper and this i will use on a uh, on my sleeves so this will the design will be there on the sleeve this design will be used there so i like gateway paper a lot this sheet because this is thick and transparent and it becomes very easy to erase on it draw in it and use it many times now to transfer this design onto the cloth what do i need i need something like this now what is this this is basically the carbon paper i am using yellow color carbon paper this is the back side and the front side is this the plain one the plain yellow so i am going to use this as a medium to transfer my design onto the fabric now when i am talking about fabric where is the fabric so this is the beautiful fabric which i am using uh this design which i am following here is the design of jaipuri rajasthani or jaipuri marble printing so that design i have taken the inspiration from this is the front side of my kurta you can see i have folded it half and i have ironed it you know what happened after i iron like this there is one crease you can see this crease so if i keep my design on to the crease like this you know it becomes very very easy to get the center of the painting the painting area and uh, to be in the correct position so like this the crease on this paper should match the crease on the cloth this is how i generally do it now you can see this top area this top area has design but we need to come down a bit why because we need to leave the stitching space so around half inch always i try to come down now another very important thing which i use is this kind of tape now this is a doctor's tape which i use the first thing which i do is to take out the tape and i want to fix the cloth onto the desktop first so i'm going to remove all these things keep them aside keep the cloth straight like this make sure you have a hard desktop it should not be soft right so like this and keep some weight on it if possible you can keep some boxes or some containers some weight on it so that it doesn't slip now once this step is done nicely i have this small metal thing i'm going to keep this on here when the step is done nicely take the doctor's tape and stick this onto the table at different points 
so like this what happens that the tracing while tracing your design will not move left and right it will be sturdy and fixed and you will be able to trace very nicely as well as very easily see i have fixed the cloth onto the table now i will also try and fix it from these sides the left and the right side of it so that you know it becomes easy for me to trace so a bit of tape on the left and a bit of the tape on the right side i have stitched this on to the table top itself so my problem is solved that now this first thing which i am taking is the right tracing tracing i told you i will keep it around 1 inch or 1 and 1 inch or half inch down the this area so i will keep it like this here and i will match my center line over here with the center line of the that is the fabric so once this is done again i will keep something on it so that this doesn't move so i will fix it like this with a weight and i will take doctor's tape i will fix the cloth with the design now i'm going to fix it only at the top first like this see in this way design doesn't move or slip while tracing okay now this much is done i will take the carbon paper now and mind well this side that is the plain side will go touching the fabric and this printed side will be upwards so i am going to lift this and i am going to pass this under the design simply like this i will take another sheet and i am going to pass this also under the tracing that is the okay now once again i will check that my center here should match the center of the fabric if it is little left or right you can just set it if it is rightly done again put a weight on it like this take the tape and fix both these things on to the fabric see this is how i do it from one or two places you can just stick it so that it doesn't move while tracing and once this is done you don't need anything else that means this gone this gone and these things also you don't need it now now simply take a pencil and with the help of the pencil trace the design on to the just be kind of redrawing it you are just going to draw this over to it just redrawing on what all you have done so that's a real simple step which you are going to do see it should be done nicely if you are doing it with a light hand the design will not come so you have to do it with a little hard hand that means the pressure of your pencil your hand should be a bit more on the pencil you have to press it and then you have to do this so just from one corner let me see whether it is coming nicely or not oh this is coming perfectly fine so now we are going to do this step very quickly but just remember that when you are tracing the tip of the pencil should never be very pointed although you don't need a blunt pencil at the same time you don't need a very sharpened pencil so it should be moderate you are seeing what is the tip of my pencil something like this will work very nice the tracing has been done very nicely now and without opening all the cello tapes just from one side i am opening a cello tape to see whether you know it's done nicely or not 
I mean to say, some places I must I would have forgotten or something like that, just to check that. So I'll just open some of the tape and just try to peep in whether everything is okay or not. So yes, I guess the tracing is done nicely. You are seeing it, and finally I will take out all the tapes and I will show you that the tracing the status of this right and uh, one more tape is here yes done see so how nicely the design has been traced onto the fabric now we are ready for the painting a very important instructions before uh, painting on this fabric is that we will be requiring something like this now this is an embroidery hoop i also use it for painting now this has two portion one without the uh, nut and screw and the one with nut and screw so it is like this and when we have to open it we have to loosen this from here and we take out the rings from each other now this the ring which is round has to be kept under the cloth like this right and the one which has this nut and screw should be kept like this now another important uh, uh, thing which you need to remember is that keep your hoop loose it should not be very tight because the fabric is going to get damaged this is a very delicate fabric if you are going to press it hard the fabric will get damaged so like this very softly you can just try to straighten it that also very less okay don't do this very harshly and forcefully this has to be done very very softly now when you are going to add color definitely you will feel that the fabric is sinking down so when you feel like that first thing is you have to tight this tighten this nicely and if you feel something like that what you do take a container any container and you place it like this inclined inclined position so your fabric will not touch the table top that means when you apply the color it is going to get weight even after the weight it is not going to touch the table top so this position inclined position is very good for painting i will be using different brushes for that uh preferably for now i am starting with this flat brush number 2 you can see number 1 number 2 and this round brush number 2 and in between i will be changing my brushes and i will be moving on to some more brushes mostly they will be flat and uh, round fine ones now the color which i am using right now is pearl metallic gold color and this one is very cool pearl metallic gold color i'm just going to open and show you how it looks when it dries this yellow will turn out to be little more gold in color uh, always when i paint i keep the bottle aside and most of the time i am painting with the lid of the color and this i place on any disposable thing or a newspaper or something like that so that my color doesn't drop here and there so simply i start with this color that is the gold metallic and i will start painting the inner area this line first uh no use of water no use of any kind of medium just straight from the bottle and directly paint yes if your color is very thick then you may use a drop of water and that drop of water has to be added here and mixed well here only no water should be added directly on the cloth for this kind of painting which you are learning now from me uh, too much water will spoil your painting secondly very important thing when you buy color so there is a manufacturing date written here on the bottle itself you must buy a color which is recently made do not buy a color which is made a year old or two years old that color will be thick 
So if you buy a latest manufactured color, the color will never be thick and you will be able to paint very nicely even without using any kind of medium or any kind of or <laughs> water. It is very easy to paint simply directly from the bottom. So like this we are going to paint the entire area which is gold in this design. I am leaving uh, the rest of the gold portion for now because the frame is smaller. After this area dries, I am going to shift the frame and complete the entire gold. Uh, but without wasting any time, rather to save time, I have taken this maroon color and I will start painting now with maroon color. So maroon color I will be painting on this area. And directly from the bottle I am taking there is no water added and no anything kind of medium or anything else is added here so just direct painting of maroon color which I am showing you right now and we are going to do it very quickly now now I am going to use this beautiful crimson color and with this color, I am going to fill this area, the background area here. And again the process is same, there is no change at all in the process that directly you are to apply the color without adding water. There is no light and shade which you have to do here. So just direct add the color to the area which needs to be painted like this see. it's a very very simple step just flat filling of color is required here and in this way I am going to color this entire area So after completing this red area, now I am ready to start the two peacocks. For these two peacocks, I am using this beautiful ultramarine blue color and I will give a bit of shading here and for shading, I will use white color. So we will start with this very quickly and just taking out the colors, both the colors handy. I will show you how I do the mixing of color so that uh, you also will learn it nicely. Just open and I will use the lid. Generally I like to work with the uh, cap of the color so that the entire brush doesn't get dirty. So there is enough color on the cap. Right. So we are going to use this first. So I will start from the top. If you will notice that I am holding my brush not like this sleeping but like this standing. Why I do so? I do it because if you are using the brush in a standing direction then your brush, your lines will be pointed. If you will use it in sleeping direction then the lines will be thicker. So if you want pointed lines then always remember that keep your brush in a standing that is vertical position if you want thick lines then slanting that is diagonal position see and again remember that whenever i apply color i never go straight away to the outline i start from inside and then gradually i move towards the outer area outline area because if by chance the color spreads then it is going to spoil the whole design. So that is why I always start from little behind the edges, the outline of the drawing. So while talking to you, I managed to complete, almost complete the head of this beautiful Of 
color in this area later on I will add some white to it to create little shading so this much I have done just want to make the cockpit more beautiful giving it a round nice round shape Now the same brush without washing I am using here and I will take white with it and work with white here you see and gradually I am blending white with blue the ultramarine you see slowly need to merge it nicely so rub your brush against the cloth very nicely like this see keep on blending till the time you are satisfied with your shade see it will take a little time so don't panic and don't be in hurry all good things take little extra time so this is how I have done this see now this one is done now this peacock we will do it very quickly now for this area this portion too needs kind of structure which is actually not needed they are the feathers of the bird I am going to paint with this pure shade of green which is the light green color and the process is almost the same no change directly always remember the brush when it is dipped in water directly never use it just wipe it because you are working on a silk cloth if there is too much of water in the brush the color is going to bleed it's going to spread very badly so to have a good command over your color always when you have washed the brush you need to wipe it nicely with the tissue paper I use for this I use tissue paper because the is it absorptions is more than that of cloth if you have a cloth which is very nice absorbent quality then you may use that cloth otherwise go for tissue paper like I do so this area I am going to fill flat green and the center area this area I will fill flat golden color so we are going to do that now very quickly now using this maroon color once again I just want to do the outline of these circles which I have painted with gold. Just like this, I am going to do all these circles and even this area also I will do the outline with maroon color. And see what I did just a spill of color over here as my brush fell down from my hand while painting so what I'm going to do I'm adding these two paisley designs here and I want to hide this color spill over this place now these paisley design which I have added here with my pencil I am going to cover with this beautiful green color so like this simply again I am going to fill this like this very simply just as I did the filling work everywhere the same way I am going to fill this pattern and this pattern with the same color scheme so that it doesn't look different so the same color scheme I am going to use to fill both these paisley designs here I have taken out this whole uh, neck piece from the embroidery hoop or the painting hoop 
I will keep this kind of paper uh, under this cloth so that my table doesn't get dirty and also this becomes straight for me to paint so like this acha only one thing you need to keep in mind that uh, you can use newspaper but since i'm using a white cloth i don't want to use use newspaper under it because the print of the newspaper is going to spoil my painting that is why i have taken this white sheet of paper this one uh, particularly which is you are seeing uh, i have kept under this painting is a gateway paper you can use a, a normal photocopy paper also for this nothing special about it or you can use a chart paper a drawing file sheet anything you can keep uh, i will start with painting these circles with this pearl metallic gold color and simply again i am going to just only fill the entire circle with the gold color no special work will be done here only filling which you are seeing i am doing just making a round circle only this much so like this i am going to complete all these circles with gold color painted with gold color just like this so very quickly we are going to do this now now let us learn a very easy step now this step will be done on these circles here the small tiny circles which we have made what we will require is something like this these are the small beads which i have silver color tiny beautiful silver beads so these beads i want to place right in the center of these circles now how we are going to place that that is really a uh, very easy step to do but before that i will just take out few beads and keep it next to my work here what i need i need something like this this is a ferricoil 3d outliner and this is pearl metallic gold color i will use a toothpick not this toothpick you can use you can use a tweezer just to hold your uh, beads so simply just open this when you are going to open this you will find it has a nozzle just take it out on a rough piece of cloth and see whether it is working smoothly or not and you can see my uh, cone liner is working very nicely another thing worth noticing is the date of manufacturing why you will see that i am telling you this because if this is too old right a very old uh, manufacturing date will be not very good for you to use kindly use a fresh one just take it out like this pour one drop in the center take the toothpick wet it with something with the help of toothpick you can pick like this and you can place it and then you have to press it like this now pressing is very important i'm going to repeat this you can see this again you can do like this or you can make a circle also you can if you want it will be easy for you any any way you like i have taught you both the way and then you just take one bead like this and place it on the center of your pattern yeah this bead is troubling me you all can see that very well so just keep it like this in the center and press it now this 3d outliner will actually help as a fixing agent means it is going to help stick this bead onto the fabric so you don't need a fabric glue for this step so we are going to now quickly finish all this design around the neck
after finishing this corner i have to do these circles over here both the sides right now for this the same silver bead i am using which i have used here and i am using another kind of green bead now this is same but only the color is green here and i am going to use the same technique which i have used here for putting up the silver beads same technique i am going to use over here so first what i do generally is i make these circles with the cone liner so that the work done is a bit faster and then i will attach the beads on it see you must have understood why i have taken this out from the frame and now i am doing it on the table top with a paper underneath my cloth because when i put the bead i need to press it so that it sticks nice nicely onto the fabric if you will not do this step then there will be a problem the problem is the bead will come out later on so for the bead to fix on very nicely onto the fabric you need to press the bead firmly to the fabric i'm using a tweezer also sometimes i use this tweezer sometimes i use this toothpick whatever is convenient for me for now i will just take the tweezer and place this on the correct position and with the help of toothpick i am going to press it like see one silver and one green now i will take the green one leave it on the design and back side of the toothpick i am going to press it now the turn of silver just keep it on the position you can press it with the back side of the tweezer also see what is convenient to you there is no hard and fast rule of doing something right so see your convenience it is just an idea which i give you people that how a particular work can be done so i have shown you that this can be done with the help of toothpick it can also be done with the help of tweezer so do take the process which is easy for you feel convenient to me choose that way of doing this work so like this i am going to put all the green and all the silver stones around the neck of the design now i have a few blue color drop shape and some more red color drop shape i'm going to use these also and will create a beautiful look on the body of this bird over here for that again i'm going to use fabric glue and will arrange it first to see how it looks and then finally after we are satisfied we are going to arrange it with fabric glue so roughly like this only i am just to see how it looks i am just keeping some beads over here to create a pattern and i think it looks pretty well and then maybe this red one i can keep one on the top and one at the base like this so i guess this looks nice i'm going to fix it nicely and i'm sure it's going to look pretty few drops of fabric glue with setting this on it so you can keep an as your uh, with the help of your toothpick or the back side of the tweezer you can set this according to yourself and in this way you will see that all 
these beads i will stick here and here now in this red design both the sides i am going to put the same cone liner in drop shape here and in the same way drop shape the other side and i am going to place the beautiful blue beads which i have these just going to leave it on it and then press it later let me leave it on the other side also and then i'm going to press it like this so i will use the toothpick to press both these so this yellow portion which you are seeing is the gold color it is going to dry and turn out to be gold so don't be scared that something yellow odd is looking here no need to be scared about it finally it's going to dry and turned out to be a very nice decent gold color you can do the outline like this if you want again if you want to cover and give it a good shape maybe again you can do the outline with the cone liner like this for these three over here and these two over here i have special big beads these are the big silver beads which i have i'll show you and these also i will place with the same technique but i will use the fabric glue in between first so just one line of fabric glue i'm going to put here like this then i'm going to make a drop shape with the help of this 3d cone liner roughly i'm going to make because i will definitely will have to do it again so roughly only just with idea i'm going to make it first then with the help of the tweezer i'm going to pick each one of these and i'm going to place it right in the center and with the help of the toothpick or the back of the tweezer i am going to press it like this so this is how this stone is going to stick on the design at the desired place so once again same process back side of the tweezer and stick nicely i will definitely have to do the outline again so that's not an issue it can be done easily as many time as you want so we don't have to be scared about the outline portion so just keeping it like this that i will take the cone liner with the help of the cone liner once again nice outline i will give with the help of cone liner this sticks also the stone better sticks on the fabric see here just pressing it a bit to set it on the correct position and again with the help of tweezer i want to set it a bit that's done now i will do these two also and we'll go on to the next step now let's come up to embellish this area for here i have taken one dot green dot right this green beautiful for and in the center i am going to put this cone liner gold color with 
the help of again the tweezer i will lift this up the green color the stone and i will place it right in the center here with the back side to press it just make sure it's in the center if you want to add some more outline or improvise your outline it is perfectly okay like i am doing okay so this is done now i have these tiny stones which i am going to add in the side i will start with adding like a plus sign just like that first will pick one by one the stone keep it on the position and we are going to press it same way i am going to make one more then again there is another which i'm going to put it this is falling like anything i will take another piece and i'm going to place it it's actually a circular pattern which i want to make it over here this is done nice and easy sometimes it needs trouble a lot okay now in center of all these i will add one more again we'll lift some beads with the help of the tweezer put it in the position and press it one more one more over here and the last one like this so i'm going to finally press them all in one go so that it fits nice and the shape of the flower also comes nice up we'll bring them bit closer the green one and press them firmly so this much is also done now we will move to the next step finally next i am going to use this 3d outliner and i will do outline of some of the area some of the area means like this area the gold part here and simply you have to press it from the nozzle the outliner is going to come out and you need to keep on moving it one thing you need to remember which is really really important see i am not moving the outliner like this this means from far i am absolutely touching the cloth and moving on the cloth my nozzle through which the outliner is coming out yes some of the viewers recently when i was going through the comment section i saw that some of the viewers had a problem they were saying that we have done the coat liner work the outliner work and it came out why it came out because you have not touched it properly on the cloth the nozzle needs to be nicely if you can see on my hand i am touching it nicely and like this i am going to press some of you do it like this from far so if you want to do it from far it is going to definitely come out in later stages so nicely firmly touch the cloth and then you do the outline also again i will repeat the date of manufacturing you need to take care of you need to buy a newly manufactured cone liner not an old one so this is how i am going to do the cone liner work 
on some of the areas i think we can do it very quickly now also when we are doing this cone liner work i will put some dots with the same cone liner like this which is going to give a 3d effect to my artwork so this work we are going to do very quickly now the next step is putting dots here now dots we are going to take white fabric color or acrylic color and i will take out some of it in a palette like this since i have a big bottle i will close the lid of the bottle i don't want the entire color to dry i will also keep one tissue paper with me or a rough piece of cloth i have this one which i will keep like this on top of it i will place this small palette of mine now for dots there are three options what are the options you can use like this it's a mandala dotting tool right there is a thin one and there is a big one thick one both on one so i can use this if i don't have this i can use a fine brush round brush number 0 if i don't have this also i can use a toothpick that is from the back side of the toothpick i can put these dots but for now as i have the mandala tool i am going to use my mandala tool for this and nothing you have to do special in this step only dip your tool in the color and you have to put the dots so like this just dip the tool in the color and you have to create dot in the maroon area see like this so like this i will cover this entire area with this dot after i put the thick dot i will take the back side which is the thicker one so i will dip this in the color and i will put a thicker dot so one thin and one thick line of white color i will put on the maroon shade throughout wherever i see the maroon I will complete the dotting later but I think I can start with this green area for this green area I am using this fine brush that is a zero number brush round brush and with this only I am going to draw one line I will add some beautiful shapes here. Dots like this, something like this. Beautiful lines. this one is long and gradually while coming to the end they become shorter so the same thing i'm going to do the other side also while coming towards the end they will become shorter that's it so the same thing i'm going to do this side also
Now this artwork is almost over. I have taken this round brush and a very fine round brush. I am taking white fabric color and just I want to make some marks here. Small lines like standing lines. Just to you know add little more charm to the body of the bird here. And these lines I am taking to the direction of each bird. See this bird is facing this side and this bird is facing this side. Right. So I will make these mark according to the body of the bird. Like this. That's a very simple thing which I have done. But it's going to add more beauty to the artwork. Sometimes, you know, simple lines, simple motifs, simple dots, they add a level different grace to the artwork. And same is happening here, see. How beautiful it looks. In this way, I have almost completed this. I will use bit of cone liner let me see if it is working or not yes it's working nice and I will put some dots on this golden work also see gold on gold and it looks really beautiful after drying and this is the very first time when I have tried this kind of art form I am very sure that you all are also going to try this because it looks really beautiful, amazingly beautiful. It's just like you know kind of wearing jewelry rather than wearing a kurta or a suit. It looks really very pretty. So simply like this, the cone liner, the outliner, I am putting dots on the golden area so in this way this work is going to look even more pretty than earlier I just want to correct this little bit the outline of the beak of the bird bird here I have added another layer outliner why I have done so because then it is going to look a bit more 3D. See, just filling it from inside. This is going to look even more 3D after it dries. So that is why I have added another layer here. So just like the neck you are seeing here, I have also prepared beautiful, beautiful sleeve of this same pattern. What I have actually done is that I have used this area over here now which you are seeing in front of you is the sleeve of my kurta. You can see I have prepared now the sleeve and the neck also and you are just going to see how it looks after I get this stitched. So let us see for the final outcome. I am very sure that you all have enjoyed painting this beautiful suit with me and the detail work has added a charm to it. The fine beautifully Rajasthani Jaipuri style of marble printing painted on this moon white silk suit has an elegant in itself. Uh, there are few things which you need to keep in mind that you are going to leave it for at least one month before you want to wash it. If you want to wash it, gentle wash with a liquid, mild liquid detergent and always reverse iron. Never iron on the top of the painted area. Uh, now I want to bring your attention to the minute details which I have added to this beautiful painting work. You can see the neckline, the fine uh, small uh, kundan which I have pasted here they look really very elegant also don't miss the blue the red and the green kundan which I have added 
including the silver kundan the small dotting the fine white dotting looks extremely extremely beautiful you can see on the sleeves also how this looks very pretty the sleeve is just the design which i have taken from the side of the neck the same design i have added on the sleeves and you can see both the sleeves they look very elegant i have added a plazo this is this is a plazo pad which i have added with this beautiful kurta and it has two pockets which makes it very very comfortable to keep small small things you know girls need lots of pocket to keep so many things they have i have added a tie and dye dupatta to it Uh, which makes this dress looks even more pretty you can see how beautiful the tie and dye uh, dupatta the edging with green red and the center part is with the same moon white color which is the base color of this suit uh, i hope you have enjoyed making this with me and you are definitely going to like share and subscribe my channel stay tuned for more creative videos stay healthy stay happy Keep learning always.